Hey guys, it's Slater the OK, coming back with some more videos, playing around with my uh, Esper Blink after the Echo banning. So I figured I um, made it to Mythic, I'm kind of done with that for a little bit. Been there, done that, so I'm going to be hopping in here, seeing if we can go 5-0 wins with my charming Esper Blink list. Now I can go through the deck if you guys want me to or anything like that, uh, just let me know. But uh, it's mainly going to be using things like uh, Deputy Detention, the Elite uh, Guard Mage, the Basilica Belfont, and we're going to be blinking those for extra value using Charming Prince, uh, Just a Curse Portal, and the Lumbering Battlement. So let's hop in and let's see how we do. So I know it's been a while since I've posted videos, and I'm probably. I don't know how long, often I'm going to be able to do it, but I'll do it when I can, because uh, I just enjoy playing Magic quite a lot, so I figured if I enjoy it, let's see if you guys do also. So, alright, let's hop into game number one and see what we're up against. Alright, villain versus villain. I'm going to play first. And this hand would be good if we had a white source. So I'm going to This looks much better. So as you can tell, we got... Uh, <laughs> we have uh, the loss to help us draw some cards, mortify it as... So I'm removal on Charming Prince. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to put you to the bottom. So unfortunately, my laptop that I use for all of this stuff, it does have a little problem with it. There's a crack in the screen. It's a touch screen. I turned it off, but every now and then it wants to turn on and click down here for some reason. So if you see any sporadic just things like that, that's that's probably what's going on. So too much for that. Now let's try see what we can set up for the next couple of turns. <laughs> oh man. Um, Whatever, let's keep him. Alright, so next turn we'll drop down Mr. Lost. I'm just not even going to attempt to fibble fib. Fib, fib, fibble fib. There we go, fibble fib. Alright. So let's draw a card real quick. Now, this is looking like it's going to be Grixis Fires, which is a rough matchup for this deck. I am not going to lie about that one. Luckily, we do have some things to help us out, like Mortify, Deputy Detention. Um. Nice little blink thing. Blink effect we can get. I'll protect Another thing is a lot of people freak out when they see it's fairy. They're like, oh no, it's a fairy! Kill it instantly with fire! And it's really not important to this deck at all. It's just kind of there. And it's just like a little good minus three blink, draw a card, play the play it again, draw a card kind of thing. Alright, so there's the fire. And so it looks like they're gonna be drawing. So I am not gonna be blinking fires, I'm just gonna blow it up next turn. Hopefully we get a land along with it and we can like try the prince or something like that. Looks like the answer is gonna be no. So I am just gonna blow it up. And I think we're just gonna attack. And I am going to bounce him. Here we for another land. And nope. Okay. Missing land drops, it's not very fun. At least this way it makes it a little bit harder to cast it. Narset is surprisingly good against us because we wanted to be drawing cards while our stuff enters the field of being cycled through our decks. Which I think they're seeing. Alright, so. Of course they're going to get it. So we're going to take Narset down so they can't switch up anymore. This is overwhelming. Um, uptake him. Let's try this. And I am going to be playing one of the battle right now. So two charming princes, there's some kind of fun things I can do. And I can get an almost infinite loot going with the lumbering battlement on every end step, blinking whatever's underneath him. If I, it's only if I have two charming princes. So I know a lot of people are like, oh, lumbering battlement is so bad. And the answer is yes. It really is. Unless you have a god, lot ways to blink. I am one again. With and reasons why. I mean, it's a very hard card to build around. You have to do it right. So I'm guessing he's probably going to kill to Fairy or the Battlement. Either one. Probably to Fairy. A lot of people don't like him. Might be the, doing the draw card thing, which if I do, I'm just going to even with this one. So we'll see kind of what happens. Okay. I'm okay with this. So let's set up a draw again. Um, I'll haunt. I actually kind of like here. So let's look at the field. Give that one. Just trying to draw a card with it. Okay, yeah, let's do it. I do want more lands because uh, I do have a lot of mana intense stuff. 
So first let's go and kill this boss. I will return one day. Should have gone after Narsap, but eh, it is what it is. Alright, so now I'm going to take the ferry up. Oh, I've done the battle hero again. Thing before. I, I did kinda I they did do a good chance. Yeah, they, they did get minion, yeah, of course. Anyways, they did do a good job of stalling me right there. I mean, we had to stop and kill Bolas before we can go face value with this Vigilant 6-7. I mean, I don't know, a lot of people are really down on Battlement, and I showed this deck to a couple of people, and they're like, oh, is it really that important? It actually is. So, it's, and everybody's talking about the chump blocking and stuff like that. I guess I'll take that, that. Anyways, um, so they're like, oh, they can just chump block it forever and days and days and it'll just be bad, blah, 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 blah. The answer is yes, they can chump block it. But the other thing with it is they have to have a chump block to do the chump block quick. There are so many mysteries with so, thoughtfulness before action. So yeah, in this next turn I'll show you because I'm going to be using him to kill Narsa. I don't know thought erase me, whatever. Alright, so I'm trying to think of exactly how I'm going to pull this off. First things first, go for Narsa. And I don't have that. Okay, sorry. I think I'm actually going to do this. I'll do it next turn if I can. So let's get a card out of there. This is honestly more annoying against control matchups just because they draw so many cards. So that, this also does couple of good things with that Thought Eraser, is now it has to take I've a Charming Prince or a Fibble Flip, which they'll probably take the Prince to the Blink effect, which is kind of annoying, but I really wanted to get Bell Haunt down, so that way this next turn I can probably Blink him, which will cause me to probably Scry, and I'll play him again to keep him safe. Oh, they're not going to move that I'm guessing they're going to go after the Bell Okay, maybe not. Alright, alright, so this is actually like this. You. So this does give them a card. I'm not terribly fond about that. Just don't don't worry, that. I got it. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> Just missed the trigger right there. Alright, so it's next. Go after you. Oh! That, that's a punch. Should hit with both of them. Okay, um, so now here's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to play Charming Prince. This is also a weird anti, um, Wrath. So that'll exile that, bring the pen back, which will let me, um, exile you. Now this is all very intense with the trigger, so I'm going to end my turn. And I think I want to say that one came back first. I want that one to trigger first, bring in the bell hunt and that one first, which will cause them to discard a card. This is very thought intensive. So that's going to bounce back in, and I'm just going to exile all of these. So now, if they do decide to kill it, I get a huge amount of triggers. You then have to discard another card. I'll make something flicker, force them to discard a card again. Like it's, if they do end up deciding to get rid of that, it's going to be great for me and bad for them. But this is a rough matchup. So it looks like they're going to be playing... I don't know. They're, they're trying to leave up mana, looks like. Okay, they might be trying to make a zombie here. This is like protection. Okay, whatever. Go if I were you, I'd just surrender. Oh, I can bounce that zombie up to their hand. Effective. Turn the zombie. Get out of here! Ooh, alright. Here we go. That's it. That's actually really good. So, we'll play that. Play Charming Brights. We're going to exile him until the end. So no, remember that's the charming prince that's exile. Okay, good. Put him down. So as you can tell, lumbering battlement with charming prince is extremely strong. So 
I want to bring in the Renegade. Hmm, what else? I want to say Mortifies. So our Deputy is alright, but he dies to removal. Which I, trust me, I hate that. Right, let's switch it this way. Uh, okay, so. Time Wipe is out. They're not really playing too many creatures. Uh, that makes. Oop, I don't know, I want that. So I'm going to take Dungeon Geist out because it's nice, but it's not doing much. So I want the Duress in. Um, I'm probably going to take those out. The portal's cute, but honestly, in this matchup, I don't necessarily need it. Um, I think I'm going to go up and dispute, though. And I'm going to run it back like this. So this looks like a pile of stuff, and it, it really is. But it does have a good way of working. Um, I don't like control matchups with this deck. But it's, this deck wants to grind, but so the control decks and control decks usually have the stronger late game. That makes it for a very rough match. Okay, I will keep this. I will happily pick apart your hand. So I'm not going to be taking fires if they do have fires. Because when they drop it, I'm just going to mortify them. Actually, I might just take their fires because it does hurt. So they, whatever they have up there, they would definitely want. But I'm not terribly worried about it just yet, so I'm going to draw the card. And this actually this ends up being yeah, pretty good next turn. So they'll do something, I don't know, maybe play the Fae of Wishes. Who knows? Anyways, I'm gonna swing it first. Uh, don't worry about spell pierce, so let's take a look at their hand again. They get drawn from dreams. I think I'm gonna play that. And then I want more cards. So I'm gonna be thinking Fibbleflubit. Fibbleflubit. <laughs> Maybe like a little annunciation next to his name. So they'll definitely be playing fires, and I will mortify on my turn. So I'm guessing that they're gonna wish for something. Uh, we'll see what it is. Probably a board wipe. A lot of people will go for board wipes against this guy. There we go. Okay. So let's go in. Attack. So let's get in that discard. <laughs> Eat that! Oh, they got rid of a land. I'm okay with that. I would not have done that if I was. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. I can't do is they're not going to find the game. I think you will find my notes helpful. I'm guessing thought erasure. Nicky Bullets. Nicky B. Nope. All right. So Chandra is going to be a little bit of a problem. So what I'm going to do here, I gotta think about this one. So I do want to get rid of Fires of Invention. I also want to get rid of Fate of Wishes. So I think I am. Yeah, this stinks. Don't fool me. So we're going to hope that they don't draw my I'm going to get rid of Tammy. Alright, so we're in an alright spot. We're gonna pray and hope. No land! No land! Okay, that's fine. I'm guessing Belhaunt or Teferi's going here, so I'm gonna put them over there. Ooh, Belhaunt, so he really wants to keep on that, uh, Chandra. Alright, so this is kind of slowing down. I'm known for my excellent timing. No, I am not making this up as I go. One thing that's kind of nice about this right here is when they do play Chandra, they're only gonna be able to get rid of those two. There goes fires and whatever this is. Okay. No way. Just the trick for this. All right, so. So let's play you. I'm, I'm very certain Chandra is gonna be coming very soon. So I'm gonna get rid of fires. Of course, you're. You have to choose now. Oh, and I scoop it up. We got it. Game one. All right. So far, we're one and zero. I'll take it. I will take it. And there we go. Little dailies. Okay. Right. 
So alright, we're off to one win. Let's see what the next game holds. So yeah, it's a rough matchup. If I was them, yeah, I probably would have screwed. I mean, they had them in a really bad spot. Like I said, it didn't look like it, but that can be a very rough matchup because of the amount of people they have. A lot of people look at this Esper list and they think, oh, it's Esper, it's Esper control. Not even close. I am going to keep this. I mean, we want lands in this deck, and we want a lot of things that we can just cantrip into, so this will help clear out the draws, this will bounce something and draw some more. I mean, it's not the best hand, but we got to really hope that we're not playing Mara Red, and we are not. Alright. So I usually hold the land up here, it makes my turn go a little bit faster. Tap, go. Good draw, I'm guessing that this is going to be... It is. Golgari Adventures. Annoying. And that is going to... You're gonna die. Alright, so I am going to do this. I really don't want you to play this for my job. And then whatever he plays next turn, I'll either bounce it to their hand depending on the adventure, depending on the non-adventure, or I'm playing Chubby Prince. So, let's see what they do. I think I am. I don't know what's that. I think I'm gonna do this. Force them to have a removal spell. So I, I really like that they did tension, but I do not like that they can remove it so easily. It does take it out of the range of shock on this other stuff, but everybody's got black and murderous rider. I mean, everybody. So that's kind of why I want to get down uh, to Fairy Time Raveler, because then um, it'll be a hard decision for them, because they just. Like I said, people get tunnel vision. Like, oh no, it's a fairy. So we'll see what happens. Alright. So, uh, three mana. I'm waiting for a uh, Love Strike Beast to come down. Oh, no Love Strike Beast. Okay, that changes things a little bit. Alright, so I'm not going to be swinging in with him. There's two. It's just too risky. So I think I am going to be playing the uh, Guard Mage. I want to get some life and draw some cards. I'm guessing it comes the Lorda. Okay, nope. In that case, I will be swinging. They're tapped out. We got our portal. This card, I want to go up more on it, but I can't. I just don't. I can't. I don't even need that. So that. That hurts. I'm not going to lie. It sucks. Alright. Not as much. Okay, okay. So. Just, I guess we're just gonna mess with him. Alright, so here we go. Uh, so we you. I don't want them drawing the cards. I want to steal Crusty Beast now, so I'm gonna form it. I think I'm gonna play this. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Stand by and walk. I just want to eat another tree. I have a plan. Alright, so we're gonna put two, three, four. So we have five lands. Um, so it looks like in two turns I'm stealing that Crusty Beast. And what now they swing in a Thalmer Knight, I am just going to blink the Garden Mage. So Tefifi is going away, I'm not worried about that. Like I said, it's here for fun. I am going to be leaving up portal for removal. Or if I can get Agent of Treachery down and blink him, that's fun. Alright, so we do this right here, swing up to the top. I'm sure they're feeling very, very much ahead, and they would be if they didn't have a hand. So, blinking the Guard Mage, we're going to draw a card, get some life back. Ooh, battle looks good. All right, so I'm gonna see what they play here. So I'm hoping they're playing. Mur they'll play a murderous rider, hitting I don't know deputy, which will let me blink him. So they'll hit me. They'll make me discard a card and sacrifice a creature. So 
if I do that, I'm gonna think about this real quick. So okay, let's say they they hit me, we discard a card. One, two, three, four, five, six, we'll get rid of that one. We'll sack the creature and sack him, they'll sack them. And I think I'm okay with it. No, he'll be tapped. So we'll still hmm. I think I'm okay with it. I don't think I want any blockers yet. So, we'll sack Charming, Charming Prince, discard Godless Shrine, and we'll be in a good spot from there. Yeah, discard a card, sack a creature. Alright, so... So, we'll discard that. And we will sacrifice you. So now I feel like we are in a much better position now. Next turn we can blink Agent of Treachery. Actually I might just put down Battlement, then blink the Battlement, which will blink Agent of Treachery and Guard Mage, which will let us draw a card, get some life, and steal Wrangle. Because I really do, I, want to, I don't want to discard it. I think I'll just do this. So this also heavily depends on what they do right here. I'm not entirely sure why they would swing with Rankle. Alright, so there's question. I don't want to it is what it is. Right. So here we're going to Or we could just blink and steal that one. No, I want Rankle, honestly. So at least one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. Force the discard. Let's do this right now. Okay. Yoink! So then, swing with that. They'll trade questing beasts, I'm sure. And I feel much better about where we're at again. See what they're playing. So what I'll probably end up doing next turn. So digging for cards, I'll probably play battle. Both of those. So in the oh, don't even have to. Alright. Okay, so against these guys, what do we want to do? I think. I think over here, the cage, not really. Alright, so hmm. I feel like we're set up pretty well against them. The only thing is, like, it's, they have a lot of removal, so I'll probably swap out those for those. They don't have much other than... They do have Lucky Clover that can be hit by Deputy, but I do feel like bringing in more Mortifies to permanently deal with their creatures is probably going to be better. Uh, Agent Treachery was actually really good there. I usually kind of might want to... I think I'm going to go down one Agent for one time wipe. Because they're playing, they're playing a lot of creatures. I'm looking back over here. I want Charming Prince. I want Fable Flivet. I want the Portal. I want Scorn. I mean, it all feels really good. So I think I'm just gonna run it back, and we're gonna see. Oh, must get at least 60 cards. Hmm. I thought I put that time wipe in there. There we go. So I apologize about the sporadic mouse. All right. So it looks like they're going deep in the Think Tank also. All right, so sorry, I got families messaging each other, and they put decided to put me on it. <laughs> Get some coffee. Mmm. Oh, it's coffee is so cold. Uh, oh, it's cold coffee. All right, I'll be back. Here. All right, so I'm feeling all right, all right about where we're at. We're up a game. We gotta win one, they gotta win two. Let's see how they sideboard. 
Now, because this is such a brew, I don't know how a lot of people sideboard in this. Hmm. We worked out for us last time. Let's keep it. What do we have to lose? The game? <laughs> yeah, okay. So we're going to keep this. We'll see what happens. Um, hmm. I mean, we got semi-removal card draw. I love this card. This card was so underrated. A two mana one one lets you dig through your deck. I mean, like, that's awesome. Now, there's really not many ways to bring it in from your library, especially in standard. Honestly, I don't see why you'd want to, really. The two card is nice. But this guy's going to be this against mono red. We put him out in the field, and I'll try to shock him. Goes right back in there. I cast uh, this guy, I would say. Like four times in one game against the Mono Red player, because I kept on trying to remove it. It was great. I loved it. See, that's, that's what I was saying. A lot of people see the Esper and they just automatically assume that it is Esper control. I really don't run many, uh. I don't run many non creatures. I'm like very portal and mortify. That's it. And speaking of mortify. <laughs> Yeah, this is not a control list. This is a mid-range blink list. So everybody brings in duress, and now they have four almost dead cards in their library. So what I'm actually doing. Hmm. Let's play that. I'm gonna push the move on. I'm gonna really hope that they have fucking beast in hand. Probably have a little bad and new people want to trade anyways, but well, you'll meet those every now and then that want to trade to save a damage or something. Okay, it looks like another quest to so I'm okay with that. Yeah, I uh, see who gets in the other. Okay, so I'm feeling great that we're, yes, we're very mana flooded, but that's alright with the way this deck plays. Because we're gonna be drawing creatures that do things. They what? <laughs> Sorry. I they must have a bomb. Wow. How did you get rid of that? Well, well, let's get rid of one other thing. Let's see what they drew. Another rider, wow. What are they holding on to that they would discard two riders for? The only thing I can think of is a better suck. Because then I have to be blinking definitely. Which question is that? Possibly be using. Let's just mortify you. Swing limb with everything. Oh, I'm trying to think of a Nobody brings in a one mana card to deal with the deputy. Uh, tapped. Let's see what they got. Address. Okay, what? And there we go. Two and oh. Two and oh. Yeah, yeah. And we've already made our money back. Alright, 2-0. Let's keep going. So, uh, this... So, I guess I'll just talk more about it. Uh, great matchups are definitely aggro. Aggro creature based are the best. Uh, just because I can gain so much life. And then, um, control is definitely the hardest. The counter spells, they want to go long, I want to go long, their end game is better. So we'll kind of see where this goes. I mean, I'm, I'm excited. Um... It's not mono red, it's probably it. Ooh, it's green. Oh, no, it's green. oh, oh, no. Oh, man, that's the worst draw possible. Two of these together on top of each other. Ugh. Disgusting. Okay. So, again, we're going to expect another questing beast. Let's turn out, let's, let's control our draws just for a second. Um, portal, 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 portal. 
not right now. Uh, we might as well leave the lands there and try to work towards these agents. They're in our hand, might as well try to get them. And they're not putting pressure on us just yet. I'm expecting questing beasts this turn, very honestly. Which if they do, we're fine with we'll just mortify it. Oh, okay, looks like we're sad. Gotta kill the dog. So still got two mana. Okay, okay. So this... Oh man, I've got to do a sidewalk for this matchup. So I've been meaning... No, i got the cages. I've been meaning to take out the cages to put in... Um, take out the cages and put in... Void, because laying on the void just shuts down the deck. And it's not cage for But Layla in the void is also very good for them. I think probably more so. Um, they're in green, so they do have ways around it. Alright, so we killed one of their mana dorks. Perfectly okay with that. Uh, next turn we'll drop in Guard Mage, draw some more cards, hopefully we'll get a blue source here eventually. And we'll be able to steal something of theirs. That's good. Let's go up. They're seeing Esper. They're thinking we're controlling. Oh, no, 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 no. Lumbering Bellman. Ah, oh, man. We're good right now. There's Wicked Wolf. Oh, hurts. Alright, so I'm not entirely sure what we're playing against. Just team or good stuff? I don't know. Alright, so they need to get in with the Druid. Right, what do we draw? Alright, so they're looking for something, they didn't find it, we're okay with that. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna drop it down. I mean, they now know that we're not in control, but it's gonna be worth it. Just because I need something to walk with. So they're probably gonna shoot them, uh, Wicked Wolf, beat up both of them. Um, which we're kind of okay with. And then here they go, so that's what their game plan is. Oh, nope, nope, not like it. Okay, we're just gonna leave Battlement out there. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Oh, so they got the cat combo going. And they're out of cards! Okay, this is really good. So let's draw a card against my Let's go draw a card against the one. Draw a card against Alright, so um Bellhaunt's not as good here anymore. I'm trying to think of what we want to steal. Other familiar with them by myself, Wicked Wolf will help us, um, help us, uh, put some pressure on them so they find that little uh, steal on So I'm probably going to steal Wicked Wolf and then I'll still call them from there. So something like that. Maybe Wicked Wolf and Gilded Use? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Do you? Do your worst. Which is three. And then let's steal that wolf. It is now mine. <laughs> let's deal with both of those. Now we're starting to force them into a more, much more awkward position. If I was them, I would start blocking the battlement with the cat. Okay. So what I am. So it's four damage. So. Okay. I'm kind of okay with this. I mean, yeah, I will happily kill those three creatures. <laughs> Food dung, I know I need it. Alright, so let's see what they play here. I'm probably gonna hold on to this one for a little bit until they play something really good that I want to steal. Time wipe's interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna play that tat. There's no point holding up that right now. They're not going to be keeping anything in their hand anymore. So we'll swing in. They'll block two th one thing, I'm guessing. Wicked Wolf. So they'll take four, which is good. Oh, it's kind of annoying that they have a way to make food outside of the oven. But at least we're we'll getting us pretty good pressure. Let's see what they play here. The witch is good. Alright. We're gonna have to steal that. I'm not letting the cat combo go. Alright, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna be stealing that. I don't want to lose. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna steal that. And uh, of course. 
course, they're going to use it before they get it. Before we really get a chance to do anything with it. So how many do we need? Control three more permits. Alright, so we just need one blink spell on the field. So here we go. Swing in with everything. They can't kill anything, but they can block two things, but I'm guessing they'll block one. And pretty good amount of damage. So, unfortunately, we don't get that. Did you know what we're up to? But I'm feeling alright about where we're at. I need our charming friends some kind of blink spell. I'll go for a leveling battlement to pick up the agents. Oh, we got a fiddle for it. Okay, there's a battlement. Okay, okay, okay. So let's do this. This will be fun. So we'll swing in with all of that. So, um, let's see what they block. I oh, we definitely got this in the bag. They're kind of not drawing well. That's one bad thing about playing so many mana dorks, is you will draw them. And it gets annoying. <laughs> Alright, so Goose is gone. I like this, I like this. Make a food token. Alright. Alright, so we'll play the battle. Huh? This is gonna be awesome right here. Alright, so, so many triggers. So play the battle. Huh? Thank you so much for that, Evan. This is gonna be hilariously awesome. Exile. 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 Submit. And then, let's end the turn. So on their turn, if they play anything good that we want, I'm going to steal it and their lands. Alright, so we win. And there's nothing they can do about it. The planner cleansing does not help, board wipes do not help. And end step. So here we go. We're going to sacrifice the battlement. So I'm going to steal that. I'm going to steal that. Session. Oh, alright, now let's bring it against them. So this, so they're playing the cat combo. Um, I'm supposed to cast that, just a thing. So I'm bringing Ashiok and two of the cages. They're not necessarily playing removal, so I think Deputy is probably better than Mortify right here. Time White feels alright. Um, they're playing a good amount of creatures. Uh, Dungeon Guy is great for Wicked Wolf. Hmm. I enjoy Ashiok. Man, this, this is the hard part about this deck. What the cut? I think I'm gonna go down a Fibble Flip it and two of the portals. So I know I don't have a lot of blink cards, a lot of blink sources, but I have a lot of stuff to blink. And a lot of people don't like that. I had some people comments on here. Like, um, hey, you, you only have like what was it one, two, three, four charming princes, two portals, and three fairies. So you have eight blank cards. I was like, that's, that's perfect. I really don't want more than that. I want to create the card advantage. Because one thing that I was running into was I was using the portal and Teferi's time... Time warp. I don't know. Teferi's time warp. That's what I call it. And uh, well, I was kept on running into a situation where I was drawing those blank cards with nothing to blink or to have them in my opening hand. I really don't want them to have them. It runs a lot smoother. So this deck was actually made from an older version um, for rotation that I think is actually a lot stronger. It got me to Mythic right away. And I was using cards like Militia Bugler to go and find uh, Chupacabra. <laughs> and so instead of Deputy, I was just straight up killing their stuff. It was great. Um, I, I did recreate that in the story with uh, I pretty much edited Chupacabra Prince. It works really well. But, um, I don't know, it's hard to decide which one's stronger because this one does get uh, the Charming Prince, which is huge, and Age of Treachery, which is so good. Alright, so, there's that. So, uh, Ashiok is going to be great here. So, we're going to try to do something that we can to force them to put the cat in the graveyard, and we'll start yelling at them. 
But I just I like Ashiar because you'll see people play. Ooh, I'll keep that because you'll see people play um, that the land that searches for stuff, and with Ash Ashiar, I have hilarious. So let's see. Okay, so this person actually knows how to use the cat combo. <clears throat> so as much as I hate giving information to the enemy, the cat combo is extremely annoying, and a lot of people don't know how to play it. Because what they will do is they'll play the cat, put it out here, and they'll wait till you're in stuff, and then they'll use all the weapons. You always want to bring the cat back on um, your opponent's turn. I don't have a way to do that. So I think right here, as I'm actually playing to carry. I am not going to get this one. I don't like that, actually. I've got you. And yeah, we'll swing in, force the, the sack and crap and everything. I'm assuming that this will force them to do it on their turn so that they can get back in and try to kill the fairy, which will be good for me. So here we go, they'll bring it back at the end of the stuff. So, um we'll swing in, kill the fairy, whatever, blah 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 blah. Ooh -hoo. No one cares. Anyways, um, they're stuck on one, two, three. So this does make the right mana. I'm trying to decide if I want to kill just the goose, or if I'm going to kill the enchantment. Thinking about the goose, if the goose is really helpful. So let's just do this. I don't know why I shocked that, and I was thinking about this. <laughs> oh, let's do the goose. I'm assuming they'll probably sack it right here to get some more food. Okay, there's uh, rocks. We're not worried about that just yet. Yeah, we know what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're not worried about Vraska just yet. Vraska's gonna get annoyed with the sacrificing and bringing it back. But luckily, it doesn't hit too much of our stuff. Okay, that hurts. We're getting closer to her. Don't worry, just a minute. Planeswalker, this deck does have a problem with Planeswalkers. And I really honestly probably should put Elder Scroll on the sideboard or D-Spark. Honestly, the sideboard, I've been meaning to change it for a while, and I just haven't. Man, I. I feel like I'm being really boring. <laughs> so if you want to in the comments, leave. If I just you like the rambling, if you don't like the rambling, just let me know. All right. So until we have a way to deal with that and the food tokens, there's no real reason to drop Ashiok in just yet. The thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Let's get a card out of their hand. Um, gain some life. See what they discard. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I was actually a little worried about that. There's no point attacking. All right, so we'll see what they have next. I really should be attacking and being an idiot right now. I don't know why. No, I think they just put the sack. They do the same exact loop. Okay, all right. Alright, so we really need Deputy. They have no black source right now, so we're not worried about that. They will when they drop in the goose. Oh, uh, I, mean, I really need the cage. So, <coughs> oh, <they're, laughs> mm, play that next. I'm not worried about that yet. It's going to be a little bit. They're going to be a little bit before they can play that. So next turn we'll, we'll decide to play that. That's crazy. <laughs> See what they do, see what we do. There's more position to drop cards. 
No. I really need to, I need to pay attention. So I'm gonna post that quick check a little bit more. And this also gets a flyer out on the field. <laughs> okay, that was very good. Very happy about that. Uh, Alright, so that's really that was really good. So here they are though. We'll take we'll take one essentially. Just extremely annoying. It's a long game. We're at 18 minutes, we're at 26. So we do, I need to find the deputy. The cage is what I really, really need is the cage. They've already tossed out there. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, he's no black sources. Okay, we're fine. Alright, so there goes the Dark Age. Cat's gonna get in. I'm not feeling too good about where we are. Those hurt. Oops, keep looking. Not exactly what we want. Come on, where's that cage? Okay, Jerry. Alright. All right. What are you gonna do? This went back up to 20, so there's no point in attacking me anymore. This is where their deck really gets to shine. Oh, man, we need that deputy or a cage. Just bring one of those. Okay, bring the cat back in. Digging for black source is, is what I'm guessing. And there they got it. All right, that's now we're not we're not in a good place anymore. We're gonna be getting that um, man. That's gonna hurt. So I'm guessing Prince and Fibbleflibbit were they gonna be the first ones to go. Uh, Belfont's gonna be hard to get rid of. She's gonna have those sacking sources. I feel like. So there goes him. Alright, so they're gonna start growing the Wicked Wolf, trying to shoot down my stuff. So there goes Charming Prince. Alright. And there's another oven. Alright, come on, we need that. Cage, where are you? There's the damage, the cute little thing. Alright, come on, where are you? Man! This game's over. I mean, there's nothing we can really do. Yeah, I'll toss him. They're just generating too much advantage with Trail of Crumbs, and we are 20 cards deep, and we're just not finding what we need. Um, I guess we can stick with it just for a little bit longer, but this game's pretty much over. Dreamy. Let's see what we can get off the top of this, though. I'm hungry. One thing that this will do is kind of force them to not only just use the cat right there, but they're going to be going after um, Asha. You must be well. Oh, there I will do right there. Behold. All right, let's see what we got. We got enough stuff. All right, let's take a look at their deck real quick. We got Love Struck Beast. So they're playing. This is a pretty rare intensive. Where we're flooding out. Yeah, I mean, there's no real point in swinging in. We can get in for the two damage, but the Cauldron Familiar is just gonna. It makes it useless, honestly. So there's the other oven. They're gonna loop the cat now. Uh, I'm guessing they'll just take out Ashiok. And there's Brosco. There's Alright, let's see. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. I mean, I 
really didn't, when I first made this sideboard, I really didn't kind of do anything to really take that down or anything like that. This might be good because of the amount of mana dorks that they're running, but I just, I don't want to risk that. I feel like we need more stuff to deal with what they play. That's just kind of nice. It shuts down mana dorks. Um... Your spells. Cast the spell. I mean, that's not okay. That's not really gonna do much. We just really want that. I mean, that's what we really want right now. All right, so we'll see what we will. Hopefully, we'll draw something good. I mean, we really need any of those cards, except for actually. I'll, I'll keep it. I mean, it's not ideal, but we got some card draw. We got semi removal. We got bounce. We'll lead off with uh, Ardenvale, Watery Grave. Man. Looks like the 5 0 Dream isn't, isn't looking too good right now. Yes! Alright. Good. So I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna go through the deck. I kinda want that cat in the grave. <laughs> and just be like, haha! Eat it! I think I am. Let me get rid of that food. And the clock. I apologize about that. This might be a bad idea. Like it. Here goes nothing. Might be a bad idea. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Alright, so we're back. So I got the cage down, so they're not going to be playing with that anymore. I'm really sorry about that, guys. But anyway, so. They killed a few people. I'm not worried about that one bit. Annoying. Yeah, that's about it. I, mean, I would have liked the, the blink and the draw card draw and blah 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 blah, but no harm no foul, we don't really care. Alright, so let's get that last card out of their hand. Kind of force them into top deck mode as much as we can. Hopefully it's Raska, something new. Okay, okay, I'll take that, I'll take that. And you ain't killing my creatures. 
Alright, so then we gotta really push our advantage right here. So they're gonna be blocking the battlement, but they're gonna be taking two in the air, and then that leaves kinda nothing on the ground. So then we'll make their food. Alright, so we nervous. I really wanna win this. <laughs> so let's see what they top deck. Hopefully it's nothing. Okay, we'll see what they do end up top decking. This, this one thing that's kind of sucks is with the cage out, they still get the sacrifice trick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, please land on the top. Please land on the top. Oh, please. please land off the top. Man, this is. Oof. Oh. Okay. So let's play you. Tap down him. Swing in for a ton of damage. Hopefully that'll be enough. Alright, so... And then we will pass the turn. So one thing that's going to be kind of nice is this next turn. We're going to be able to Blink Dungeon Geist, tapping down whatever else they play. Feeling really good about where we're at. Extremely nervous also. I think we got it, I think we got it. So we'll tap down the trusting beast. Ooh, lose the beast at the top. Oops. Oh, it's annoying. Eh, this works. So alright, this is I believe this is game. No 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 Damn it! Whoa, what the fuck? No shit! Okay, no no no. Oh my god! I'm sorry. <laughs> That stupid. Mm. That is frustrating. So yeah, my laptop is messing up, and it clicks right there where it's the last turn. I apologize about the language. Wow, that makes me mad. That makes me so mad. Ooh. Mmm. That's. Mm. Yep. That's a huge oops. It did not. So we'll tap down that one. Yeah, go do whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Put that counter on yourself. So we'll take you. I'm gonna be blinking in the dark. I want to keep drawing cards. I want to play Agent Treachery next turn. Oh wow, that makes me so mad. Oh man, I am. I'm sorry about the language. Oof. Oof. <laughs> oh. So they got four cards they can play for. Five, I mean. Technically. Sacrifice a lot. We'll gain some life. Play that one. Okay, that actually kind of takes them out of mana. I don't know what they're looking for here. Massacre Girl does nothing. This is game. This is, this is game. There's nothing they can play. I mean, I can try to sack the cat and keep digging, but this is game. Good game. Oh man, I, even with the, the, the computer point. Oh man, like, why there? Of all places, why down there? So you can even see a little blink of the screen that wants to there. Oh wow, that's so, so angering. So we'll dig some more. They think they can. We got six in the air. There's actually got way more than enough in the air. If I'm right, I don't think they can even get a lane in the cage also. Search your, uh, search your library for basic land on the battle. Oh, they can't have fun. For some reason, I thought that that can't have fun. They're playing out their deck. We'll let them have their fun. Wow, I can't believe the computer pumped me that bad. Oh, it's so frustrating. Oh. Yeah, see, look how long they played. Eight minutes. We're at 22. I mean... We got this. They're tapped out. They got nothing. They got nothing. Goodbye, Cat Combo. Get out of here. Ugh. That's so good. We got that. And the octopus. I 
thought about putting that in here. I really did. Being able to blink it, creating a whole bunch of blockers. I might put that on the sideboard as more help against aggro. The only problem is I'm already this deck is already really good against aggro. Alright, so let's keep going. Oh man. That still is bothered that bugs me so bad we would have won it turn earlier. What did you decide? You ain't at this critical moment in your game, I'm gonna freak out and start in your past button. Come on, come on. Oh, this is a good hand. So like it so this hand looks controlling. I saw somebody play this, I think, oh, this is Esper Control. They're playing Card Draw and Teferi and their other creature that does stuff. We're not Control. We're not Control. <laughs> so, yeah, I need to fix the uh, screen on this laptop so that doesn't happen to me anymore. Wow. That was almost really bad. <laughs> if I had lost because of that... Oh, I don't know what I would do. All right, so looks like we're playing Just Guy Fires. Another hard matchup. Not as hard as most because we do have plenty of ways to deal with fires. But at the same time, it's a rough matchup for anybody. Um, I had ego in the sideboard for this for a little while. This might not be Just Guy Fires. I don't know. So let's just kind of psych him out a little bit. Sorry, I'm one late. card that's the plus one. Oh, I've done the hero thing. I just want to see what before. they're playing mainly right now. I'm, are they gonna go after Teferi as hard as they can? Okay. Okay, Just Guy Fires. Definitely. All right. Right on schedule. I'm not worried. Oh, not worry about it. I'll protect you. Well, thank you. All right. Please, please, please. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to do that myself, but... Let's try this. Thank you. So I'm guessing uh, fires, draw from dreams, maybe some kind of removal to, to attack their own to fairy. This could just be fun out just that control. Goes nothing. Which would be interesting. But I haven't seen that yet. Or a good version of it. Um, I'm trying to think of other cards that they would be playing with this. Um, the, the blue plants walk through is the other one. Okay, I'm not worried about that. So let's play... Let's get some card dog in. Cycle through the deck. Thunder Geist. Like I said, some card draw. So now they might think things are a little fishy right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, and now we go seven. Okay, let's just keep going. I've got it. Oh, wow, we haven't hit a land yet. <laughs> That's impressive. So this is going to be a rough matchup. I mean, Don't worry, this deck is built to take this. on creatures. With the uptake of the cat combo and aggro, cavalcade and everything, this is good against the creature side of things. Ooh, okay. Wow. Feel the heat of my flames. They okay, are so they coming. You don't want to go after Teferi. Okay. Fine with that. Enough. So this turn we will. Listen to come on! Man, I haven't played against this deck in a while. Okay. This is gonna be That's a rough more match. Like it. I just I need to put the altar spell on the sideboard. Okay, so luckily we got enough flyers that we should be able to fly over the servos. The fairy's annoying more than anything. They got a pretty good amount of board wipes. The deafening clarions. I think they got two left. I'm um, not worried about time wipe. They don't have any blue sources. They are going to be probably going after deputy. And then make a dragon. Let's pass the dragon. Okay. Whatever. I'll have two swing at that. 
past, present, oh, and future meditate this. and prepare. Okay, there's fires. We knew that was coming. Wow, still no land. Okay, you, you, and then you there. Wow, I'm amazed. Still no land. All right, so we're gonna strike. That's what we need. This we just need lands. <laughs> You're so funny. All right, and then we will only take a very good. I have no reason Here to blink anything just yet. Down will come fire, and I'm guessing Big Chandra. Or a boy, let's we'll see. So there's fires. And there's Time Wind. Okay. So if he's in Time Wind. I mean, blink. <laughs> Triple a little bit. Oh, wow, I messed up. I messed up pretty bad. What am I doing? I should have. Wow, okay. So here's my point. I should have blinked Charming Prince, used Charming Prince Exile ability. Exile Deputy Twitch. Deputy Twitch comes back to the turn skies. And I'm still not hitting a damn limb. <laughs> Sorry about the language. Alright, land. I've got time. Land. There we go. Wow. This is getting ridiculous. So I'll play that. And so I'll play that. Go for that for 4 4. I'm so sure. Man. Wow, that was a fun attempt. That probably lost me the game. Yeah, whatever, we're not really <laughs> I train every hone your prowess. Oh, right, anyways, sorry about the noises. <laughs> I'm just like thinking really hard. So they've played their did they play their two spells? No. Yeah, they did. Okay, so they played fires, played or said they can't do anything else. Now what do we do? First, we go to our sixth man. We're stealing him as soon as we can. So, well, I don't know, I'm thinking. This is a tough decision. First thing is, second thing. No, I am not now, making this up as I go. Do we play dungeon guys? Tap down that. Swing in for that. Preventing any more searching. I think. I think. That's what we want to do. Or do we play that? Get rid of that altogether. The next turn, I'm stealing that with that. Oh, man, this is tough. Alright, so let's play this dig a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Nope, we're not digging. Sorry about our stuff. Okay. I think I want to play this. Get rid of the dragon. Yeah, you, I want you to search in here. I will consume right. you. And Next turn, we will steal uh, Sarkin. That's how you spell it. I think that's the Yeah, Sarkin. Steal Sarkin. Swing. Make a dragon. Swing. Come to Why me. Let's make a dragon. I think we'll be a lot better for that. So, they'll either board wipe here. Oh, so. Uh, a long night. Anyways, so they either board wipe here. No, if they're board wipe, then we've already done it. Stupid fake wish. I hate that man. Alright, well, mainly, uh, yeah, it's that card. I think this card is what really makes fires not broken, but pretty darn close. And there's Chandra. We're stealing Chandra. <laughs> Anyone who stands in my way, it's it. I've always wanted to make a really right, big so fireball. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's mine. 
Alright, so whatever happens, it's gonna we're gonna lose it, so we might as well ping down Narset. And force them to attack Chandra. <laughs> bye bye So that was alright. We're not in a good place. I, I don't feel good about where we are until we can blink. Once we, if we can get a blink of that going and we can steal Sarkin also, I'll feel a lot better. Uh, I guess this also really depends if Teferi survives this or not. Those are second fan wishes. I'm kind of surprised I haven't seen um, Azure Treasure and Song Director decks like this. I feel like it would be a really, really good addition. We're not game changing, all of these things, but it kind of would be. Alright, so there's Nick, Nick, Nikki B. So. We'll probably be the next time, you guys. Nicholas will resonate throughout the multiverse! So, the mighty man's power! Here's Chandra. Very much guessing. If I was them, I would draw a card with Nickel Bolas. Man, this is Chandra. I'm just like... Ugh, so many different things to think about. It's not like this game is a complicated or anything. Alright, so, um... So there we go. They're doing the guitar draw thing. Let's just get rid of the Alright, so they drew a card. We exit all that. smarted you Um... Hmm. Let's do this. Let's slow this down. Bounce agent. Truck. I have a plan. Slow you. Draw a card. This game's going to be long. Tapped. I'll pass the turn. Uh, I'm assuming they'll make both into something. Uh, they'll make both into dragons. We'll bounce one, steal the other. Uh, probably bounce. Sarkon. I think this game went too long for us to be able to win now. Agents are good, but I, I don't know really where we're at. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, the okay. If you're playing against Fibblethobit, this is a two mana cantrip. That's it. So, yeah, we're a lot, we've lost, alright. So, let's just let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, Alright. We do have some good things to bring in. We got Duress, you, that's about it. So we're taking out Dungeon Geist. Time Whip doesn't feel good there. We got three more cards to cut. Cute. I think, actually, I think we'd take that out. And, um, oh, I'm trying to think. I think we take that out and we put in, um, hmm. search their library. No, I'm trying to think. They didn't really, they weren't searching their library. I mean, let's toss in a counter spell just because it's off the wall. And who knows who might catch it by surprise? I have another mint. I'm addicted to mints and coffee. Coffee oh, that else. We got Mulligan that. Oh, come on! Alright, I'll keep this. We need a white source, and then this will be very good. So, yep, I know Dream is dead. I'll play it through, but we'll see. We'll see. Um. Okay, that's actually important. So let's 
pull out of their hands are most dangerous to us. Which is actually not sad. <laughs> we do not care about the fairy. Alright, so everybody yelling about the fairy. This is my take on it. The fairy is annoying. Yes. The fairy shuts down a lot of instant stuff. Yes. The fairy is unbeatable. Not even close. The fairy is very beatable. I mean, yes, it's extreme. Oh, come on, we need a white source. Oh, white source. The fairy is very beatable, though. I mean, the blinking uh, sorcery speed of everything and making the sorcery splash is annoying. Show remorse. Please bounce. I'll show restraint. Please bounce. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Let's try this. Ooh. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Up. Man, that, that really helped out. So just because you have to ferry, and just because you can bounce something doesn't mean you should. I gotta get to them. They're, we're playing long games, but at least we're playing fast. I mean, granted, that's when four and there's still. No! Okay. I am not making this up as I go! So now here's the hard part. And I think I'm gonna play to ferry the next round. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that, okay. Or... Yeah, let's, okay, so let's... Let's play to fair. I know let's my responsibility. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Oh, man, that's Alright, so now here they're probably gonna block Charming Prince keeping the fairy alive. But at least we're gonna be able to bring no more down games. the fairy. A little bit. Now, this does help us out. I'm really hoping they drop fires and then uh, But they won't because they have the fake wishes out. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Beautiful dark green. Good, this is really, really good. Faster, faster, faster. Land. Land off the top, pass turn. Oh. That's more like it. <sighs> Alright, whatever. So hopefully this will put a little bit of a stop on them. We'll see what they do. So this is gonna be very awkward. They actually have to use mana until it's gone. Um I feel happy. Yay, I finally got to land it. I don't feel good because <laughs> I'm definitely expecting some kind of removal down the map now. Here goes nothing. Which, um, honestly, okay, so if you're playing this deck, to fairy and fires don't really mix. Fairy's plus one is completely negated by fires. To fairy's balance effect, that's all he's using it for, making sure I don't count it. So I'm waiting for them to see what they do here. Do they waste an entire board wipe just to get rid of that, which they really probably need to do. Oh, they're using their mana. Okay. They're going for a removal spell right now. I've lost this game. I mean, we're at four mana, they're at six. They grabbed Ugin. Ugh. Ugh. Yuck. Alright. Wow, this actually gives me a chance. Okay. Let's get rid of the thief. No, it doesn't give me a chance. For some reason, I was thinking I could counter with Mystical Dispute, and I can't. We're just SOL. We're done. There's nothing we can do. Alright, so let's do this. Maybe we'll find some lands and we'll be able to steal Ugin. That's what, that's what we'll try to go for. 
I don't, I'm not feeling very um, confident about it. Because I mean, we're only at five lands. I mean, we're far behind. We're very far behind. There's it again. Do not defy the designs of an errant dragon. I be gone. Very bad. Sorry, I'm late. I've got the spells that they can play. We're done, so we're not gonna. I mean, this deck does have its bad matchups. Um, Super Friends is a bad matchup with this deck. We, it's just not. It doesn't work. So, I mean, honestly, we're we're not gonna win. I feel like I'm a broker. We're not going to win. We're not going to win. But I'm sorry, but just like I can play it through. Oh, we're done. <laughs> they, they dropped that. <laughs> Uh, so. Yeah, he's six mana. He they, okay, yeah, we're just dies to Chandra, dies to Chandra, dies to Chandra, dies to Chandra. Yeah, we're done. Alright, good game. Alright, guys, I'll finish this up later. I got some stuff to do. But I will uh, we'll be back for the next match. So, but first, I'll let you guys to see my first loss. Alright. Alright, guys, I am back. So let's hop into the next match. Alright, so we just came off our first loss, but we'll do good. We uh we still are doing pretty well. Alright. So let's see what we get paired up with. Alright. <clears throat> I really need to start like actually streaming. It's just hard it's easier to find time to record a video than to stream. But uh, if it's something that there would be a uh, interest on, I would definitely try it. And uh, of course, oh no, froze. Okay, it's back. It's back. All right, I'll take it on making Jason. A lot of people like to pick their avatars based off of what they like to play with. I'm gonna mulligan this with my white. Oh, it's so much worse. I should have kept the other one. <laughs> wow. Alright, let's pull down. Alright, it's all up to you, Mr. Flip Flippin. Ooh, it looks like we're playing a green deck. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, so it looks like we're playing Golgari Adventures. I think. I think I want to choose my card just for a little bit first. The card advantage is nice, but I think I want to pick more land that feels good and more card draw. That's perfect. All right, awesome. Well, let's just see where we go from here. Ooh, roll adventures. I'm guessing it's nothing stopped. And there he goes. All right. I am okay with that. So stem the card draw until they fall. Get some removals. Family texting each other, they got me on again. A chat. If it gets annoying, let me know and I'll just turn it off. Alright, so we stem the card draw until they stop, not stop, but I kind of do something big for that. Um, I'm guessing they're gonna play Bone Crusher here. Or, yeah, alright. Uh, alright, let's see what's next on the deck. Alright, another one. Let's put that in tap and pass the turn. Okay, I am mean, gonna mute that, that's a lot of messaging. Alright. Family's texting everybody right now. Um, Alright, so I know that they're gonna be trying to get, um... Trying to, there we go. Then wait. Right, so next turn I'll probably grab that again. Let's see what we'll see what we draw. Um, another innkeeper? Oh no, love strike me. Okay. Yeah, I don't want him to draw any more cards. That mole more five. Brutal! But uh just kinda of see where we where we go from here. Hopefully we can pull this out. I don't know. And there comes the big hit from the giant. Alright, 
Alright, so let's see what's up next. There's something good. Mm, that's not bad. I'm gonna pass the turn. So we're gonna take a big hit here. A really big hit. So, pump spell. Ember Cleave, I'm guessing. If it's Ember Cleave, it's just game over. Oh, damn, it's not. That's game over. Ouch. Roll aggro for the win. We did have the mold of five. It's usually a match for it. It's just, ugh, mold of five. It's brutal. Okay, so I'm not playing with too many, so I'm actually gonna... Mortify feels good. I'm taking out Agent. They're just too quick. I'd actually much rather have, um... Time wipe. Uh, let's see what else we got. I'm gonna go down deputy because they do have plenty of ways to deal with deputy. This feels much better. We have our removal, our blink, our kill spell. Since I am going down deputy, I'm thinking about going down portal for something. Uh, not the cage. <laughs> but I think this is gonna be fine. So we're gonna run that back and we'll see how we go. Oof. Man, that was brutal. We just mold a five. It's always just hard to come back from. So hopefully this isn't the end of our league. If it is, I'll just do another one. Because we definitely got our winnings back. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Come on, Khaki. We can do it. Alright. But first... Yeah. I'm not gonna risk it. I don't, I don't like this. I mean... But we're not. I'm not gonna risk it again after that last one. And because we, we do have all of our colors, we have three mana. We draw one more, all of a sudden, we And black. Okay, so yeah, that's all colors. Got probably deputy, edge wall and keeper. There's um, something. Okay. I guess that's all right. I mean, it's not necessarily good against us, but it is what it is. Although that means that I probably should have kept more deputies instead of mortifiers, because they actually can deal with that. At least this way, it looks like their main source of uh, creature removal is probably going to be ambush. So, I'm going to play this. I'm very much expecting best of this next turn. Um, it's just going to that's instant speed, so I am actually going to pass the turn. I want to keep the uh, deputy alive. Plenty of things they could hit that would ruin my deputy today. I'm actually expecting them to do it right now. Because yeah, it's, uh... I'm going to put a creature card X or less. Lots of things you can do with that. And there's Bone Crusher Giant, like that. Man. I personally think this is a very underrated card. So I'll probably deputy that one. It really depends on what they play right here. So there's Questing Beast. Like, we knew what was going to happen. Okay. Do we give them Innkeeper back to trade? Or do we just take eight? So let's think about this. Let's let them know what we're thinking. Okay. That's card advantage. Or do we just take eight? Yeah, I think we just take eight. As much as that hurts, I think we just need to do that. Okay, so we'll play that. Tat. Combat. We'll get in for R2. What else are we gonna do? I think actually I'm gonna do this. Because that's a good trade between those. Or else I need to get something out of their hand. Go up some health. I mean, I feel like that's much better. I'm gonna try to attrition them out. That is gonna make it hard, so I'm trying to get them to where they don't have anything on their side, or they're, we're stonewalled, and then I'll take care of them. Forcing the top deck. But right now, we're gonna be taking four. Much okay, that's a great combination. I'm gonna mortify that, though. And no blocks, I'll take four. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Let's mortify that. Did 
definitely bad. Imposter. Sorry, so now I'm feeling a little bit better. Domri's ambush is still gonna hurt. It's going to hurt when it is. So there we go. He's gonna get the arc bow back. Man. So I think we're gonna take five here with no locks. And then we're gonna drop him off, picking up both of those next turn. Or dungeon geisting. Swing in for two. I'm not liking that we're at. We're one Ember Cleave away from just getting destroyed. At least Questing Beast is kind of locked down at the current moment. Man, that Arc Bow, that hurts. Love to get rid of that. I just, honestly, I don't see Edge Endkeeper being that good in this match. For them. Pick up both of those. It gives us a big throw, and I'm just gonna pass the turn because I don't want to get janked out of nowhere. And this could be some removal spell. We they are playing a, their best creature, unfortunately. Man, there he goes. Top six. What do they get? So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be blinking that to get rid of that. I mean, that's that's happening. <sighs> I was gonna be blinking the battlement, but I think I need to blink the deputy because we need to get rid of this. That's a huge threat. Oh, he's got the innkeeper. That's interesting. I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm thinking the only good adventures that he's got is Bone Crusher and Love Star Beast. Alright, so Debbie is better back. Oh, okay. That's one of the Okay. Yep, yeah, okay, never mind. We're blanking. We're blanking. We need to. Oh. Alright, so here we go. First things first, let's get some more of that. More advice on the next. But I think I desperately want to do this a little bit more. I feel like it's going to help out quite a bit more, so let's exile you. Ooh, okay, that, this is looking to be much better. I don't feel a swing in the air. I think I just want that. Still leaves a pretty good amount of block. little risky, but we'll see. And if he attacks, we know he's got something up. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Force him out. Gain some life out of it. If you want to trade all of that for that, I'm okay. Because that's going to be brutal if he that dies. Okay, that's going to kill it. That is. So we're going to go after the Bone Crushers. Perfectly okay. Alright, so let's hit. Do that. Um, which one do we want to exile? I'm thinking we exile you, actually. 
you have your end secret back. We're gonna draw and gain a pretty good amount of life. And that feels much better. So next turn we can mortify love shot. Alright, alright. That feels that felt much better. Okay. So that was alright, but deputy I think feels much better. Um I think that video feels better. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna split it. Um, there we are. Uh, there we go. That's much better. Because I feel that deputy was great. And I keep on saying deputy, I feel like I'm saying deputy, 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 all that stuff. But, anyways, I feel like that was good. Um, but, yeah, so I was gonna, I'm gonna go over my reasons for uh, cyborg and like that. Mortify is great for killing the creatures, but deputy is also hitting the enchantment. Oh, not the enchantment, the, um, arc bow, which is huge. So I don't know, um, I don't know entirely what the plan is here. So I guess we're still going to try to be the, uh, we're still going to be the control deck on this match. They're definitely going to go all in on the aggro. We have a plan for the arc bow. We have a plan for questing beast. So we just gotta see if we can gain all that life back. So that's the true power of the deck is that playing these creatures that's gonna be gaining us three life every time we play it and drawing us a card or taking them down one. I mean, I think it's huge just being, especially against aggro decks, Bell Hunt, dropping down, getting us that life and taking an aggro card out of their hand. I mean, it's it's just it's a brick wall. Also, being a three four is fantastic. As you saw, they didn't want to attack into the giant. Or they didn't want to swing their giants into it because it felt like a bad trade on their part. And I'd have been happy with that trade also. So we gotta look out for Embercleave. Which that's gonna be. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to Embercleave. That one's gonna be. Hopefully they're not playing it. We haven't seen it yet. But, I mean, they're playing red. And if you're playing red in this meta, you're playing Embercleave. Okay, I like this. I'm gonna keep this. I mean, we got early removal. It's Love Struck Beast and Keeper. Trips. Sort this out. Yeah, it feels like that. All right. Okay. So toss that down, and I think we're just gonna draw a card. Get a one-one to stop that from coming at us. I'm expecting them to drop that off. We'll just kill it. So let's go up some mana. And goodbye. Oh! I dropped the wrong thing! <laughs> Alright, we'll right. just draw that card then. Right, so here we go. Ooh, that, that's a good one. Uh, Alright, so we need to kill the 1-1. One, one. Man, I can't believe I dropped, the, dropped it the wrong way. Whoops! Alright, so... Yeah, whatever. Great blocker, cantrip, everything. Um, ooh, time wipe, that's really good. Okay, so. So let's return that to your hand. I think. I'm play that and pass this right. I, should, I probably should have sh uh, shocked it in, stride a little bit to make sure we could have gotten another. One of those things, you know, those those things, lands. That's what they're called. All right, so hopefully we can get our land drop here. That'll be huge if we get the land drop. If not, we're probably gonna have to throw that away. Um, drop the love struck beast. Come on, you know you wanna land, land, love struck beast, land. Let's see what they do. Staring contest. All right. Oh. Okay, they're really going deep in the pink tank. All right, there we go. Land off the top. Land off the top. Not a land. Let's do that. 
we need to hit this other one. Oh man! Oh, if we don't get this win! Oh, this is gonna be bad! So, yeah. We might be dead right here. We're dead right here, I think. Oh, that's brutal! To go out like that. Oh, what a way to go. Alright, so, start with the week after that. Man, that was brutal. Ouch. Alright, so, so let's look at our final record, how far we went. So, we went 3 and 2, that's really good. So, let's claim the, claim the prize. Enough for another league. Uh, plus that, yeah. And more cards we already have. Alright. So yeah, looks like we'll be hopping back into that if you guys want to join me again. So yeah, if you guys want to join me again, I'll be popping up another league. Uh, if you guys want to see the list, let me know in the comments. I'll post the list, but if you want an actual breakdown of the cards that I'm using and everything like that, just let me know. I'll make a video of it. So if uh, it's up to you guys, hit me up if you want. Just let me know Let me know what you guys want. So uh, yeah, I'm going to probably hop back and take another league. So this is Slater the OK. Join me again, and I'll keep. I'll try to keep posting the videos of these leagues. I mean, if you guys want me to grind through the ranked and watch me play ranked a little bit, let me know. Right now, I'm honestly having a little bit more fun doing the league. It's just, I don't know, almost like gambling, I guess. But um, yeah. All right, you guys have a good night.